A reading maze is a story which requires the readers to make decisions along the way about the way that the story develops. In the EFL classroom, a reading maze can be used as a problem-solving discussion activity, and it's a good way to bring interactivity to reading. Reading mazes can be found online or in children's storybooks, or you could write your own. This example of an interactive reading maze, called The Evil Landlady, was made using the Active Studio software for the Promethean whiteboard. But it's appropriate and easy to design using any of the interactive whiteboard programs. Once you've decided on a background and a title for your reading maze, you can begin to type out the introduction to the story. The idea being that it culminates in a decision that the students have to make. Here, the end of the text simply asks, what should you do? And we're going to give the students five options from A to E. Next, choose an icon from the resource library that the students can click on to navigate through the maze once they've made their decision. Now you're ready to add actions to the icons that you've selected. In the Active Studio software, we do this by double-clicking the icon, going into Properties, clicking on Actions, and then configuring the page that you want to navigate to when the icon is clicked. You should set each icon to navigate to a different page, which will show the consequences of the option that the students have chosen. In the class, the students should be allowed time to read the scenario and discuss in groups which course of action they wish to take. At each stage, when they click the icon, a new section of the story is revealed, along with a new set of options to discuss. A popular way to end reading mazes is to have one successful outcome and two or three unsuccessful outcomes. And if the students are unsuccessful in their mission, or even if they're successful, you can always ask them to go back to the beginning and try again, this time taking a different route through the maze.